let's look at how to do the performance improvement what kind of things that we'll check whenever we want to improve the performance of a particular mapping okay so how you will check to improve the performance of a session so for that you have to go to first session log first you have to go to session log and the important thing that you need to refer is run time if you type if you search for run time okay control f and then if you type run time okay it will give what is the time it is running what is the time it is running at the reader level at the transformation level at the writer level in etl what we will have in etl we what we will have source target and then transformation so it will provide the statistic at three levels one is at source level one is at target level one is at transformation level so that's how it will go reader level reader is nothing but source writer is nothing but target target transformations are nothing but whatever you apply whatever the logic that you will uh, apply in between source and target in this example we are having very very less amount of data but if you have huge amount of data it will show how much time it is running for each and every thread for reader thread how much time it is taking for writer thread how much time it is taking for transformation thread how much time it is taking so if any if you are seeing like more time it is taking at the reader level more time is taking at the reader level then you have to go and see at the reader level what you are doing here you are you are passing one query and you are just getting the data if there is very small difference or if it is very less time between these two you can say like there is no issue in reading the data from the source if for example here you have started at 88 and if it is giving the data at 8 10 that means it is just taking around 2 minutes of time just to mm -hmm. get the 500 uh, five records that means it is taking very long time that means there is an issue with the data which is residing in the database there is not an issue with the informatica okay there is no issue with the informatica if it is taking more time with for reading the data then it is an issue with the source from which you are reading the data and if it is saying like you are you are getting more uh, time consumed at the writer level that means it is taking more okay. time to write the data into your database then we have to see if there are any indexes which is stopping it because indexes will slow down the uh, data loading process or what is happening in that particular table you have to see okay so if it is, if it is saying like at reader place it is taking more time then you have to go and check it in the source database why it is taking more time why it is taking uh, that much amount of time to fetch the data and if it is showing uh, it is taking more time at the writer level you have to go and check at the target database level or target level whichever it is okay if it is showing at the transformation level that means there is some issue that means there is some issue at different transformations that you are using now we have to see how to improve the performance of the session at the transformation level so what you have to do some of the best practices for uh, a performance improvement from source at any point of time you should pull only the columns that are required okay only the columns that are required you should not pull all unnecessary columns okay you are fetching one column means either it should be loaded to your target or it should be getting used somewhere within the logic or within the transformations okay within the transformations so what is the first thing that you need to do in the performance tuning required fields we need to insert okay first what you are doing okay go to session log go to session log okay search for run time okay search for run time what it will show in the run time run time what it will show how much time how reader much time, time does it take to yes reader time, time. transformation right time, time transformation and writer time writer time okay if if it is taking more time if it is taking more time at reader if it is taking more time at reader what you have to do 
problem with the source. data base. Check the source. Okay. See the difference between see the difference between query issue time and first row return time. First row return time. Then you will get to know. Then you will get to know how much time it is taking to get the data. Okay. And then if if it is at the writer level, is at the writer level, is at the writer level. What do you have to do? Check the target. Target. Check at the target. Okay. Check at the target. And see if any indexes are there. Again, if index, index, it is kind of database performance improvement. Okay. What you will do at the database performance improvement? The same thing. You have to do here. So nothing to worry at the informatica level. At the informatica level, mostly you what you will have at the transformation level. You can do something. You can do something at the informatica. At the transformation level only, you can do something at the informatica level because you are applying the logic at the informatica for these transformations. So what are the best practices? What are the best practices? Read whatever is whatever is needed, right? Read whatever is needed. Whatever is needed means either it should be either it should be used in some logic or loading into the target. Loaded to target. There is no if if that particular column is not getting used any of these two, then what you can do? You can remove it. For example, if you come here, see here department name. What we are doing here? What we are doing? Just forward and backward. You can see where it is getting used. You are loading the data into target, right? You are loading the data into target, so it is required. So is salary required? You can check. Yeah. Yes, it is required because it is getting used. And is first name, last name, middle name is required? Yes, because these are yeah. getting loaded. Do we have any other columns apart from that? No. No, but we can have it. For example, even if you have title, for example, okay, you have title or higher date. If you do, if you do this, what will happen? You will try to fetch the title also from your database. But are you using it anyway? No. 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 Then what is the purpose of this? No use, right? So if you find yeah. anything like this, okay, if you not only here, you may okay, you may keep it here as well, okay. You may bring it here as well, okay. You may bring it here as well. Let me move it down. Okay. Let me bring it here. So, are we using title? So, now can I remove title? Yeah. Because it is not getting used anywhere in the logic and it is not getting loaded to your target as well. So, there is no purpose of this particular column anywhere. So, you have to identify the columns like this and you have to remove those columns. You have to go ahead and remove those columns. And not only removing from the source, this column is there here as well. So what you have to do, you have to give, you have to remove it from all the dependent, from all the dependent transformations as well. Okay. Yeah. So what you are doing, you are just pulling whatever is required. You're just pulling whatever is required. And another thing, if you are loading the data into database, remove indexes, okay, remove indexes, load the data, and then recreate the indexes, and recreate the indexes. What it will do, if you have the indexes, what it has to do? Whenever you are trying to insert the data, first, it has to go and search where it has to insert it, and then, it will go. It will move the records up and down, and it will insert it. For example, this is what you have remembered, right? One five seven. Okay, one five seven. Okay, three. Okay, or you have nine, twelve. Now, if I have to insert three, what? I, where it will insert? If I have index on top of this column. It will insert after one and before five. If it is 10, it will insert here. So you are doing extra processing here. You are doing extra processing. If it is not indexed, for example, okay, if it is not indexed, 
have the same data, 1579, 12. If I have to insert three, what it will do? It will go and just push it at the end. Again, if I have to insert, it will go and push it at the end. Okay? It will do like this. It will make the data faster, right? Instead of going yeah. and searching, okay, where is five? Where is one? Okay. It should come before five. Okay, one. That means it should come after this. It will do all of this logic and it will try to insert the data here. Then that insertion will take time. Here, what it is doing? It is just coming at the end and then inserting the data. This will be faster. So once you do that, then you can create the indexes. What is the purpose of indexes? To get the data very faster. Okay. Reordering is it will it won't take much time because it is doing one time. Whereas inserting it in in between for each and every record, it has to go and search where it has to insert. That will take more time. This is one of the best practice you can follow whenever you are doing performance improvement. Clear? Yeah. Now, what are the other things that you can do? Remove, remove unnecessary transformation unnecessary transformations okay remove unnecessary transformations what you can do unnecessary transformations means for example this is getting from file right filter we can use root is that now you have this what is this this is a table this is a table and you are doing joining here right can we do this yeah. join at the database level yeah. So if there is an option to do join at the database level, okay, there is an option. Okay, if there is an option to do join at the database level, do it there only because it is very fast. If you do it here, what will happen? It has to get data from these two, and then it has to apply through all this uh, this joiner transformation. Instead of that, you can write the query. Okay, select from A and inner join B, and then do some logic. You can just paste that query inside the source qualifier, inside the source qualifier. Okay. So if there is an option to do something at the database level, just do it there only. Don't do anything. Not only about the joiner. Okay. About the filtering as well. Okay. About the filtering, about sorting. All of these things we can do at the database level, right? Whenever we are getting the data, how you will do? Where clause? How you will do? Order way. Right? Any operation, if you are able to achieve it at the database level, just do that at the database level and just paste that query here. Paste that query here in properties. Okay. Yeah. Clear? Yeah. That's how you can remove the unnecessary transformations. So unnecessary transformations has to remove and at the source level and target level, you have to do these things either Okay, it should be uh, used in some logic if any column you are pulling or it should be loaded to the target. Okay, so only pull whatever is needed in terms of columns. Okay, clear with all of this? Yeah. So how you can get to know now if you have to, instead of coming here, first of all, first you have to see the data here. Okay, see the data here where it is taking more time. So if it is taking more time at the source level, come and see what you can do at the source level. If it is taking more time at the transformation level, then come and see what you can do here. If it is taking more time at the writer level, come and see here what you can do. These are some of the things, but based on the requirement or based on the issues that you are facing, you can come up with any alternate approaches what you can follow. Clear with the performance improvement? Any doubts? No. Samatha, you have any doubts? No. no. So what we have learned today? Session log or the log. Pre-session task, post-session task, and performance tuning. Performance tuning. Okay? Yeah. Okay, then I think that's it for today's session.